Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to put a standing desk together. This is a standing desk that I just got. It's from upliftdesk.com. There's the name for it, upliftdesk.com. This is a two leg standing desk, V2 commercial frame. This is actually the C frame version. And that's the one we're gonna to put together today. The standing desk has several boxes that it comes with. The first box comes with most of the components table comes by itself most of the components come on this next page of the manual is up here another box comes with the uh, seat frame feet and side brackets and then one of your last box comes with um, this crossbar so showing you what I have laid out is um, this table right here this entire table comes by itself that crossbar comes by itself with a few screws up there um, the sidebars uh, you can see right there in the feet come with um, this uh, logo plate and those red screws. And then the rest of it, the rest of the stuff comes together with screws that I have laid out right there. So we're gonna be following this manual along pretty closely. There's a lot of screws, so always use it as a reference. Um, right now, what you'll see is the table is upside down. Um, that's because this is how you install it first. Um, and we'll get started. I already, I already kind of re rearranged all this stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look. First, I have the Allen wrench handle. This is a very good tool to use. Um, it's to hold the Allen wrenches. It comes with two Allen wrenches, a four millimeter right there, and a five millimeter right there. So the holder lets you put the Allen wrench in and lets you have leverage to turn things. All right. So, um, and depending on which side it is, um, the four millimeter goes in the number says four. I don't know if you can see that. There is a uh, four on here and then a five over here. So depending on which side this, this would go in and it will go in, in there and it will hold it for you. So it's, it's a pretty nice tool to use. All right, let's get started. First thing is this table is upside down. Um, that's because this is how we need to install everything um, upside down first and then we'll flip it over when we're um, close to, uh, to being done. Alright, first thing. This is one of the legs. This is one of the um, crossbar attachments at the end. We're going to put this together and put this with me because we're going to do this in real time so you see how long this really takes for uh, just a regular old person to do it. Alright, we're going to put that. This is, this is eventually going to going to be somewhere around around right there. So I just I just laid all this out. Put this to the side. And we'll take this right there. This way I can see the holes at least where everything goes. Okay. The screws that we need for here is the H1, which is right here that I laid out the M6 by 10. I'll grab two screws. And which one does this use? Well not that one. Do it here. Here we go. Put that in. Now, if you guys take that tool, makes the tool makes making this a lot easier and leverage. That in, and we'll have to do all these screws too. So, hopefully, this doesn't take me too long. Don't like breaking the video up in parts. But this will show you exactly how long it's going to take. That's in. That's in. These legs are pretty heavy since I think they have the motors in them. Let's go on the other side. This side in, two more screws. There we go. The H1. And if you want to skip forward on the bottom, I'm if it's not there already, I'm gonna put basically time markers on when I'm doing what. So you can skip forward a little bit if you feel like it. So, anyways, this step one is putting 
the side legs on. And I'll have to do the same on the other side. But I'm gonna do this on this side since I'm right here. All right, that's tight, that's tight. That's tight. And that's tight. All right. And then the next thing we need to do is we gotta put a screw. Got to do the side bracket attachment, which is this. We'll put that in. And remember, this is the back, so it's opposite when you're putting this in. So be careful which side is the front and which side is the back when you do this. There that goes in. Need two more. That's going to go in there. This is going to go on the other side. Take this out of the holder for now. It makes it easy for the initial screwing just to have it out of the holder. Yes, because I'm not using a drill, you'll see real time how long it will take with the provided tools. I could just use my drill and do this a little faster. It would have been really a lot faster, but I'm just kind of tightening this. Two more turns on this side. So eventually we'll put everything else in, but let's just do this part. There we go. Get that nice and snug and tight. This is the heaviest. This way, make sure I have this tight. Do I have that tight or not? Nope, that could go in a little more. Now, as you put more pieces on, everything gets a little heavy. The boxes were a little heavy. Put in. So, we'll keep going here. So that's tight. feels tight. Make sure that's one more tight right here. Okay, that is in. On that side. And then here's the brackets for the sub the desk. Remember it's upside down. But two more screws right here on the side. You put this in first. Side so I could just easily get that mostly turned in. Okay. Get this screw. Remember, I said the handle does wonders. Get on the four side. Once it's a uh, once it's tight, snap that in. 
nice and handle to just have leverage. Nice little tool. So for now, you know, everything is tight. So that's tight there. Don't need to do too tight. You don't want to snap this. This is plastic. This thing is plastic. So you don't want to snap that. I'll put this upside down so when you look at it, it's right side up. And it goes into the two holes. So I just said it just snaps in. All right. There we go. Now that side is in. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put these two bars in. This will eventually go there, but we're going to kind of line, line this up. We'll probably have to move it again anyways. We're gonna come over here and do this side. We'll need the same amount of screws. Sorry for the noise outside. I don't know if you hear that, but I have some noise outside. Oh, wrong set of screws. That's not the screws I need. I need this one. We've got a plane flying overhead. I don't know if you hear the uh, rumbling, but that's what I hear. Yeah, I don't know, some sort of plane outside. All right. Put this one. Also, lay it down so I can find where the screws are. And we're gonna do the same thing. Put the screws in. most of the way. There we go. That's tightened. That's tightened. All right, flip it around the other way. Screws go on in. There we go. Put this one in. Did it sign up? No, I didn't. Now, this is also the reason sometimes you shouldn't tighten everything too tight because. Now that was off alignment by a little bit. I had, to pipe back. I had to untighten that so I could get this aligned. Get that inside. There you go. Get that tight. Same thing on this side. We'll put this control box down here. Get a little bit out of the way. Now, watching the little cord there. Put this side back in. And the reason why you also line up, you want to make sure you put everything in the right way because you don't want to have one side flipped and the other side flipped the other way. So one screw will go right here. As we did the other side and the other one need one more screw from this packet and then put on the other side grab my tool again now just know if you do use a drill it'll be so much faster This is just drawing with the average drill without a drill and just using their tools and a screwdriver that most people have. How long will it take? Get this out of the 
real quick. I'll do this a little faster. mostly tight in and then use the holder to do the final tightening of these screws. Yep, that's about where we need it to be. Make sure these are tight. That feels tight. Not yet on this side. As we did on the other end this is the packet that came with this so this is the packet that goes at the very end there's two screws on the side over here take my thing back out put that in you can see you guys know but yeah there's just two screws just trying to get that into the side and now as I start getting tighter and use the tool but they do that first time it was tight and I got loose again Those are tight now. We're done with all the bags in this one. Now we, we're gonna put this, up. this is up with this. I don't know if you can see on the camera. Make sure you put it in upside down because once you flip the table, it's gonna be right side up. And that goes right there. All right, now that we're done, put that back to the side. Now that we're going done with the two sides, we're gonna use the C channels. These go in. There's a hole on one side, but it really doesn't matter um, which side goes in where. We just need to get the C channels in. So C channel is going to go in on this side. And we're going to put them all the way in first. It really doesn't matter which side it is. I'm going to be picky. This is the hard side. I'm going to put this back out and just turn it real quick. Just because that's the photo side. I don't know why. There's just little things. I just want to feel if I'm. This is, a, this is just a personal preference. Alright, let me get that moved over. Get that there. Um, there's little markings right here for the center of it, but we're going to get to that in a little bit. Alright, now that we got that in, we're going to put the screws. The next set of screws, which will be over here, and those screws, let me make sure I check and make sure I have the right set of screws. Those screws will be the H4B, which is this. Depending on what you have, you might need H4As, but these already have been machined in. So those are screws we'll use, and we'll also use the washers for this, which is H5. So take your H4B, which is your 10 by 24 right there, your H4B. And we'll put that in. Here. 
it's very nice on most of these they already machined it in so you could just put the screw in without having to drill and some of the other versions you actually have to drill holes in this but this one doesn't and these are phillips so you'll see me using my drill in a little bit to get all this in Now there's extra steps if this was the um, T supports, but this is a C one. You got one right in the middle. What you need to do, and then the other four will go on that side. Oops. All right. Let's get this line real quick. And again, a lot of times I don't tighten this until I actually got almost all of them in. Sometimes having a set of knee pads while you're on the floor helps a lot. I don't have my knee pads with me. I should get them with me. It would be so much more comfortable to do this. Lining this up. Alright. And then now that I have all those screws in while I'm at it, there's a little notch right here that says middle. So I'm just going to move these basically to where, about where the middle. I'm just going to eyeball it, but it's about right there. It's a little notch that says middle, and I'm just going to put that there for now. We're going to tighten that up in a little bit. But right now, I'm going to get my screwdriver. And put this in. All right, let's put this in. So much faster with the drill. Might be cheating a little bit here. But that's in. in so that puts that in the instructions have some brackets on there which this is not the table type so we're going to skip that so the next thing is we align those two again with the center then there's um, some h3 set screws right here this is the h3 m8 set screw that now we're going to use those we're done with these with those bags hold on let me arrange my bags a little bit have these open just so they get easy access to them but these are the screws i have left right now we, we use all this but now this is a set screw right here this is going to be the oh still the small one h4 we'll take this out of the holder and this will set this middle this middle bar tight um, just make sure that notch is kind of in the middle, and then that's going to hold, 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 hold these bars in. Six of them that we need to put in. One, two, three, four, five, six. So. All right, these are also cable mounts that came with it. Um, we're not going to use this, so I'm just going to take this away. Um, there are cable mounts and also some some zip ties right there um, and cable mounts. I'm gonna put this aside because we're not gonna use them. Get them out of our way real quick. Okay, that's in there tight. I'll come back around and tighten these in a second. So right now you guys will see how long it takes me to actually do this. That's why I do these in real time. I'll try to fast forward it. Now someone. There we go. That tight. That tight. One more to go. Okay, 
it to C. And when these go in, these are basically almost flush with the uh, with the desk or with the screw holder. Basically flush. Make sure that it's really tight. There we go. Good. Those are good. It's good. All right, let's check over here. Good. 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 All right. The next thing we're gonna do now. Is we're going to do the keypad attachment and this attachment. So they specifically say to put the AC cord on this side and this facing the opposite end. So I'm going to follow that. This just slides into these little brackets. There's a little bracket right there. If you can see that right here, there's two brackets. They just slide into right here. So you put that in, you slide it in. That's how. It, there we go. This just plugs in right over here. Slide it out a little bit and do that one too. There you go. That slides in right there. And that plugs in right there. I'm going to slide that in in a second. This is going to screw right there. And that screw, uh, they are going to use H14 screw, which is two of these screws. The other H14 is used for this cable thing that's going to go right there. I'm not going to tighten this all the way because I still need to adjust it a little bit after I get it up. But let's see. Didn't wear shoes so I could step on the table without getting it damaged. But there's some pre drill screws, screw holes in here already. They were, they've already set that for you. So all you have to do is align the screw with the holes that they pre drilled for you. too tight. I just want to adjust it later when I really need to adjust it. Oh, the one thing I forgot to tell you guys is I like to hand check the tightness of all these just because I don't always trust the uh, drill. That's what the hand tool is always for. Just hand check what tightness it is. You screw in so many things, you kind of know how tight you want the screws. For now, we're just going to get this cable through, and we're going to make sure we can put it there. We'll put it on the, it won't fit in the F side, it'll only fit in the HS side, hand switch. So slide that back there. All right. Next thing we're going to do is attach this cross connecting cable right here. Take that out. There we go. Take this right here. Have it connect there. And this will go that way. Like so. All right. That is in. We'll put that rest of the cable probably in the wire way when we get this in. We'll 
probably it. Let me move the screws I have right here to the side. This is just a full opening. I'm going to take that out of that. Of that. <clears throat> but, anyways, before I put this in, because I don't want to smash it, this is plastic. Put that in a little bit later. We're going to put that crossbar in. And the crossbar does have to go on a certain way. They give you another another avalanche for that right here in this red bag. A couple screws. This is for the middle. Take that out. You see that? There we go. Another two sets of screws right here. And four sets of screws. The bag. And that's the screws that came with that bag. So, we need to get this, and get this, and now this has to go in through here, and then you got this crossbar, it's going to go right here in the middle. Alright, that uses this Allen wrench that came within the bag, I'm going to start on one side and get that through. I get lined up first and just try to try to put it in real quick I'm trying not to let the other side seem like it just get the screw in I might not be able to um, yep not gonna try it that way all right this is a part where sometimes help might be great Because with help, you could have you know, someone helping you hold the bar high enough so you could get the screw in, in the line. Might be the hardest part of this entire assembly. Getting the screw in. Come on. Alright, I can get this set to fit. Let me try this out real quick. a little bit. Get this side in. Filling for that hole. There it is. I got that in. Alright, let's get the bottom in. This part literally is like the These part are the hardest screws to get in, right here. Get in and one more. I'll start tightening all these screws. We just get this little metal crossbar in. Take several turns with this avalanche.
almost holy day. And this is just one side. And one trick to make sure it is tightened, you don't need the pressure on the bottom, so lift up the middle and tighten it a little bit, just to know that it's tightened. Add that tighten all the way. Same thing on the top, lift that bar a little, just make sure it's tight. And that side is now tight. Oh, I need to stand up a little bit. All right, now to get this side, same thing, just tighten all the screws. Okay, that's almost tightened. Lift this up a little bit just to make sure everything's tightened. And I'm not dealing with just pressure. The screw. One more screw up here. Just trying to get that in. And the bottom is tight. Good. All tight. So now the last two screws, which come in the middle right here, I'm gonna put that in. It's gonna tighten that middle bar. So here, that's easy. There's a little tightening. Two screws. Lift it up a little bit just to make sure. So that is now the middle bar. And keeps that, especially when the desk is standing, you need the support. Checking all the screws real quick. One last time on this side. That's tight. And then this bottom one, I know you can't see me, but just try to get that bottom, bottom screw tight. All right, those are tight. All right, now that we got this crossbar in, we're gonna move up to get the legs in. Let's see, can you see that in the video or do I need to move you up? Yep, yeah, I probably need to move you up a little bit. So I'm gonna get the camera, move that up a little bit so you guys can, uh, See the legs too, a little bit. All right, now I'm putting the legs on. All right, the legs are going to require H2, which are these screws. And these screws are still the same H4 Allen wrench. Still wouldn't wanted to get the larger Allen wrench yet. We'll figure out when we need to use that. But let's put this in. Remember, put this aside that way. So these are the H2, this is the M6 by 14 screws that go underneath here. We need four on each side. Put that in. up. 
tighten that up. And I hope you've gotten this far to notice that the holes are still here and not on this side. And the short side is here, long side is there. Hope you, hopefully you guys put it on the right side. So tighten that. Let's do all four corners again. It's kind of like what you do with tar car tires. You get them all pretty, pretty tight and then you go in a diagonal pattern. That's what I'm doing right there. Kind of like a car. All right, do one more, and it's on this side. I need uh, a couple more H2s right here. And they're gonna go on that side. A few more. It's on this side. Get the rest of the four H2s. After this, I'm going to show you the screws I have leftovers, um, which I'm not going to put in yet. And I'll show you which ones are those. But let's screw this in. Let's get done with this first. There we go. Tight, tight, tight. All right, that's that bag. And that's actually the completion of the install. Oh, sorry, missed one more thing. This H4 screw, right here, H14 actually. The big hole is for you to get your um, screwdriver in. Line this up with the holes in the top. And I can't fit my drill in there, so this will be a hand screw in. I don't think I can get my screw. I'm just gonna hand screw this in. And this is basically your wire way that you put there um, with the uh, H14 wood screws. They already pre drilled holes in here. If you don't have pre drilled holes in yours, you need to get a pre. I drill just pre drill so you don't crack the wood. All right, that's in there, and that's in there. All right, that's your table setup. Now, because we don't have, and that's all for this bag. Now, we didn't use any of these H4A wood screws because this is not the T um, right now. I'll put that to the side. There's some. There's four more M6 by 10s machine screws. This might be used for the, uh, the T desk, but this is a C because it's a C. Um, so we'll put that to the side. And this anchor plate with the H7, this is for any accessories um, that might need. I'll take another video of this, putting this on later. But right now, that is the desk. So we'll take everything out of the way. This I'm gonna put on after we flip it. Take everything out of the way. And I have my, my power cord right here, which I will put on after I flip it. But let's go ahead and get this ready. Take this off. Get this ready. This will be on the wall side, right there. And we're gonna start flipping it. Now, remember earlier I said it came with cable ties? Well, these are cable ties to get these wires in place so they don't move. But let's flip this first. Now this desk now is actually pretty heavy. Um, I already have it in place of where it's gonna be, so I'm gonna slowly flip it. Therefore, um, but if, if you need, you should get help. 
So you flip it a little bit. I already have this in place from where I needed to go, which is right around here. Let's move this back a little bit. So the final flip would be good. All right. Right there. Well, we're going to do final flip. All right. You guys ready for this final flip? No, you aren't. Final flip. There we go. That was good. Right there. That's how the table looks. What do you guys think? You see the table? All right. Now I'm going to... This is going to go on this side because this is the side I'm not actually not going to use anything. So I'm going to take this and just put it in there. And put it on up there. My actual wires are going to go in, in that other hole. Now, let's put the power on and plug this in. Underneath, again, that same power supply. And then let's test this baby out. All right. That is in. And we will plug this in. Let's see how this works. All right. You guys ready? Let's see. Right there with the time of truth. Let's go up. Oh, nice. That works. That works. That works. Up. How high does it go? Go pretty goes pretty high. Look at that. That's nice, isn't that? Comes right back down. Alright. That's nice. I'll put it to that height for now. Alright. Well, thank you guys for watching along. Hope you guys enjoyed um, my table build. If you like what I've done. I'll, uh, always subscribe if you're stay if you stayed that long thank you remember always use the manual I had I use the manual to just make sure I got the right screws in the right place so the manual is always being used I don't try to do this without the manual so this is a table and I look forward to using it all right thanks for watching it took me about 50 minutes to do this all right have a good day